move the fat idiot in charge of this shit show out of the way. Uh, and hit the go button. Too hot. Yes, yes, yes. Air conditioning. I agree. Now, for those of you that don't remember, we are legendary father of rational philosophy, Immanuel Kant, who, for reasons totally unknowable, is currently the PhD, PhD, the, uh, what is that called? Um, the CEO of Reason Video Game Development Company. And I think we're like approximately 1995 right now. Uh, I think the PS Vita just came out. Maybe that makes it 97. Yes, the G3, G3 has just started. When did E3 start? That'll tell us what year it is. Uh, Wikipedia seems to know, but they're being recalcitrant. Uh, 95. So yeah, it's 95. That's closer than I thought. Alright, it is approximately 1995. Everybody needs to go on vacation. Get out of here. I need to send all on vacation option. Because they pretty much always all need to go at the same time anyway. Well, no, we're not doing target audience. Just fuck right off with that. Uh, let's train me as a game developer. We can't do this thing here, uh, just fucks up the game mostly. Um, I found out because at first I was like, what am I doing wrong? Because that's how our society trains us that something must work as intended. But what happens is when you use the boost, it increases people's stats. But the way that these things are designed, um, they're, you're supposed to have a balance in the outcome, and that has to do with how good the game is. And the balance is fucked up by your interference using the boost. So it might actually make the game worse instead of better. Although you produce the game faster, and you uh, have a, a greater all altogether outcome, right? So it adds um, XP faster. Do I know Jessica? Who are, who are you, Jessica? Why are you here? Oh, I'd know if I knew you. Holy shit. That is an outfit. Um, I, I don't, I don't know you, and I'm pretty sure that you are a robot. Get a lot of robots, get a lot of robots. Trying to grow a social media presence, you wind up getting a lot of friend requests from Skynet. Okay, um, we want a large booth because we have $40 million. Um... We should probably, I don't know, develop some games or something. Is that that's that seems like something a game development company should be doing? Why are all our computers blue screening? Are we able to work? All our computers are blue screen. That indicates to me that we are that we are in the seventh circle of development hell. We are we are not going to do terribly well here. I think. Now we've done great with publishing. Weirdly. Um, cause I've, I've only ever had publishers burn me right up until this particular playthrough. Um, but let's see, let's develop a sequel to something that almost never goes wrong. Um, this was a bad game, bad, bad game. Well, not bad, just like not good enough to, to get a sequel. Okay. Um, deontological justice. All right. We're going to make a sequel to... Um, the Categorical Imperative 2, Deontological Justice. We'll make this a medium game and call it CI3. Um, um, laws Rule. 
which does not mean what you think it means, but it's close enough to being crime. And it's definitely a simulation of truth. Um, and that's going to be... Should this be our first NES game? Uh, SNES, I should say. Uh, have we done... Have we done a Game Boy game? Yes, we have the game... We have the Game Wing license. So, are we going to do our first NES game with this? Is this our foray in NES gaming, or do we want this to be portable? I think we might be able to get more out of the graphics if we do NES first. SNES, I should say. All right. Uh, and this has got to be on the beta engine because we spend oodles of money on it. And we have to justify that. We could have done Gen 1 3D graphics, I suppose. Uh... I think this one should have a linear story. Quests will put down to like, I don't know. We just recently had the biggest hit of all time by making a pun out of our name instead of a game. Which just goes to show you how things work. Why, why have meaning when you can have needs? You know? Why give somebody an experience when you can just take their money and tell them they've had an experience? It's faster. Oh, is that it? I'm used to having a lot more people. Actually, I think maybe I'll take that one. And then you'll be free for the next thing we need to max out. Almost 200,000 people. Not quite. To make it to the top 100 minutes. Uh, let's throw a campaign on this one. We have no reason not to spend $2 million on it. Ah, yes. The play system. It has finally happened. All right. Uh, I think we, well, first of all, let's get this shit figured out. And then this. Do I need to be 104? Uh, let's move me down to, yeah, let's try and get these two both at a hundred. Well, maybe we can do, oh, that actually turns me up. I don't know why I thought that would, obviously that would be the case. I don't know. I can push myself a little beyond my ordinary limits. I'm not sure I put myself in this situation. In fact, what happens if I outsource this to Alan? We're fine. I can push Alan as hard as I want, not get anywhere near his limits. Because he hardly did anything. This is the only thing Ron's done at all. Maybe put a little more on the old side. Alright, go. Uh, DLC for, uh, Categorical Imperative 3. So, it's on an NES. I don't know how you do that. I don't think that's a thing. I like to throw in magazine advertisements right at the very end there to keep the hype from going down while we work out the bugs. New record. We're leveling shit up. We're releasing the game. Awesome. No, not to pay people. Easter eggs. Let's give it a miss. Well, 
food. It doesn't seem like it's very good. Well, a categorical imperative is not getting another sequel. That's fine. All right, let's develop a sequel. Um, total garbage. Thinking too hard to. Ooh, perpetual peace, revenge, porpoise. All right. Uh, a history simulation. No, stop spelling it correctly. Perpetual peace. Corpus 3. Basically. Um, well, this has to be PC. We'll use the Veda engine. And this one will be 3D. It's a 3D porpoise. First generation 3D porpoise. If I am Aaron Lampe, oh, I don't think so. I feel pretty awake right now but with the nicotine gum and the caffeine. Uh, let's see. Taunt. Maxed out. Out low. Bit below. Story on the floor. We might look something more like 18. Yeah. All right. Recently released a sequel. Newest game in a series. Met with modern responses. Not our finest work, I must admit. Large campaign. What do I do? Okay, yeah, this. Good. At least that's the way it seems. I was gonna say feels. It seems silly that day. But I don't know what it means. Oh, if I've been dreaming all my life. Uh, fuck you, Alan. <laughs> And then this next one's just going to be impossible to work out. Now I've done this. Oh well. Game is about to be released. It's on PC. Might as well do DLC. Magazines. New record! Ding ding! Go! Not as good as could be expected, and the reviews are. It's great! Oh yeah, people love this porpoise. It's funny because I cheated to get this done because of the whole porpoise thing not working out in the past. We even got a Ted on this one. Fucking sweet. Alright, let's develop something fresh then in order to celebrate. Let's just completely flush this one down the toilet. Like, I do not give a shit. Uh, we're gonna make a comedy game. Uh, comedy casual. Uh, let's put it on the game wing because we have it. It's gonna be a small game. Um... And we're going to call it... What the fuck is a Republic? That's a great name for a game. Alright, we'll throw it on the uh, latest engine. How do you put 3D graphics on a Game Boy? I seem to remember being limited to previous versions of the graphics, depending on whether or not I was doing the... Game Boy before. Uh, just put all this shit on the floor. Who cares? I'm thinking that this game is something like Kant doing a reductio ad absurdum to all of the people who think that Athenian democracy was good.
He's like, you idiots have no idea what you're talking about. Let's just pretend for one minute it was alright to let literally everybody in your society fucking vote on shit. Rainbows? Perpetual Porpoise 3, I had no idea what I was in for. Visually pleasing is an understatement. The game looks incredibly good. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better. Hmm. Unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas. Not to be released, DLC. No, you can't put DLC on a game. You're out of your mind. Alright, and then we'll do the magazines while we wait for them to fix the bugs. Keep the hype from dying off. Thought that was the last minute bug for a second. I hate that. It was my least favorite thing in this game. Still got a couple of dings, even though I wasn't expecting them. All right, we can do new graphics and new sound. You, research, uh, soundtrack. You, research, 2D graphics. You, research, Easter eggs. Hey, you, get us back our research points. Even though we won't learn anything from all of these reports. All right, let's see what the reviews look like. Six, you know, it's not bad considering the circumstances. Seven? Uh oh. This is gonna get a sequel. Oh well. What the fuck is there a public two inbound? Well, we know that that's gonna be something that we deal with in our uh, portable stuff. When we release things for portable, that's gonna be how we do it. Oh god, what on earth is my hairdo about? Uh. No, you in particular, sir. Let's see. You are a researcher? Um. I will make you think. What, are, what do you do? What is it that you do? You are a designer. Just like me. I too am a designer. Uh, research? No. Actually, I seem to be a coder. I wonder how that happened. Well, code is down here. Uh, game design for pirates. Game gear is off the market. That's a lot of money. Uh oh. Encrypt message. It has recently managed to gain access to critical systems of one of your competitors. Uh, no, no sabotage. Uh, that would be unethical. It would violate the categorical imperative. No new insights. All right. Obviously, we never have any new insights. Khan already knows everything. He already knows every damn thing. Large Ruth, go. I'll be on training soon. What the fuck is a Republic made way too much money, given the circumstances? Come on, finish. Alright, now. Now we're done with all of that. We're going to... Should we develop a sequel or find a publishing deal? Publishing deals have worked out for us surprisingly well. Military genre. Or military game, any genre, any system. From Capcom. 
Medieval Casual on E from Ubersoft. Hmm. Yeah, let's do these two. Uh, we're going to do a medium game. It's going to be a uh, military action game. And we're going to call it... Um, it's going to be like Spec Ops The Line, but a philosopher made it. So we're thinking something like... Uh, what is the clause? He's got a clause about military military readiness. Um, we'll just call it um, with a standing army, and it'll be about that section of why it's bad to have uh, standing armies and state of or and readiness for perpetual war. Hmm. I think we're a little early for that, aren't we? It's fine. We'll put it on the beta engine and try really hard. What have I failed to do here? What? Did I unpick action? I don't understand. Alright. Uh, yeah, and this will be an, an extremely ornate 2D art style. But still hand-drawn images. Um, this one will have branching stories. Go. Two hundred and thirty one thousand didn't make top one hundred. Gear is gone. I'll agree. Rolling keen. Be modest. Thank you for your time. Two million dollars. Maximize. You, you, you. Okay. I kind of like the idea too. I've, I've always liked the um, games that have the, the focus on art style. Um. This is stage three and all. I feel like this is an easy game to make. I'm not sure why. Like, I had to push our peeps pretty hard the past couple of times. Now, all of a sudden, the game makes itself. Uh, uh, no. You cannot release DLC for an NES game. A Super Nintendo game. That's ridiculous. Market, magazines. Work out the bugs, if you would, gentlemen. Oh, we're all men. Interesting. That hasn't been the case usually in my playthroughs, and I just now notice it. Well, Kant would be favoring men, I think. All right. Uh, oh my god, he's unlocked a whole bunch of new shit. All right, unlock all this shit. Research all this before you go on vacation, please. Video playback. Um, advanced cutscenes. Oh shit, I wasn't done assigning research. Oh, this one sucks. Yeah, okay. We are... Well, it's fine. It's a fine game. It's acceptable. It's not good. I will research. Oh, I will not research. Uh, let's generate game reports in the hopes of getting some research points here to get that last one. Same, same. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Mm. 
Well, we did say we wanted to try both. Do we want to try the other one? That get us enough? It did. Sweet. Send a vacation. Send a vacation. Send a vacation. Yeah. I still want to try the next one. Even though at this point we've lost ten million dollars. New topics. Hmm. Okay. Just throw some money in the account. That'll slow down the bleeding a tad. Okay, okay, okay. Let's find a publishing deal. Uh, any topic, any genre? Rockville Softworks. Hmm. Any topic, any genre, any system. I mean, how can you say no to that? And new topics are popular right now. Does that mean new to us? Um, I think it might. Hmm. Manual one. You have cities, um, yeah, city, simulator, uh, for the PC, and we'll call this a civil, civil society. I'm in some trouble with the keyboard there. Um, throw it on the beta engine. We should probably do the new engine after this. Uh, yeah, flat 2D graphics. Maybe this one should have been 3D. You can have crap 3D graphics for a city, right? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, do you need a branching story in a city simulator? I don't think you do. Not even sure you need a linear one. Large campaign. With a standing army now for markets. down a little and tone this up a little. Maybe even we'll repeat it less. Alright. Uh, rich backstory. I thought we'd need new stuff for that. Apparently not. Slightly turn this up a little more. All right. Uh, and it's on PC, so we can release DLC as well. Minute magazine campaign to keep the hype from dying down as we work out the bugs. And release. And 64. Hmm. No! Last minute bug! You piece of shit! Like, comment, subscribe, and share.